So this little video is just going to run over some of the necessary skills that you should have acquired in the last two lessons. And um, from here, we'll start the uh, lines in three dimensions. And there's really not a lot of difference between two and three dimensions for the equations of lines. So if you can get the two dimensional ones nailed, you'll have no problem with the next one. So just going over the basic, what did you need to know from 8.1 and 8.2? So write a vector equation for a line given slope or the direction vector slope, which is the same thing, right? The direction vector and the point P0. So you know that all you have to do is write the point and add some parameter times the direction vector. There you go. And Generally, you should say t is an element of real numbers, although sometimes it's not stated. Write a vector equation of a line through a pair of points. So now you know that you need a direction vector and a point. So we have two points. And just like in grade 9 when you found the slope, this time we're going to find the direction vector. So the direction vector is going to be minus 1 minus 4 and 6 minus minus 7. Sometimes a good idea to write all that out. So you get minus 5 and 1. 13. 6 minus minus, I thought this was a 1 for some reason. Uh, 5, 13. And then, so then all I have to do is choose one of those points. I'm going to use the first one. And I'm going to add some parameter t times the direction vector. t is an element of real numbers. There we go. Determine if a point is on the line. So what we want to do here is we want to write this in parametric form and we want to test the points to see if we get the same value for t. So that means that x is equal to 2 plus 4t. And my x in this case is minus 2. Minus 2 equals 2 plus 4t. So if I bring this over here, I would have minus 4 is 4t, so I would get t equals negative 1. I'm going to do the same thing with the y's. I'll write out the parametric equation first. y equals minus 3 plus 7t, and I have minus 10 here, so minus 3 plus 7t. Bring the minus 3 to the other side, that gives me plus 3 or minus 7 equals 7t, and t is equal to minus 1. So if these values here are the same, then the point is on the line. If they're not the same, it's not on the line. Question four, write a parametric equation for a vector equation. So here I have um, a vector equation for a line and I want the parametric equations. That's a two second answer. X equals two minus 13 T y is equal to minus 3 plus 8t. Those are your parametric equations. This should have said t is an element of real numbers, shouldn't it? Can you graph lines? So 2x minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0. If I was going to graph this myself, I would probably find the x and y intercepts or maybe write it in slope y intercept form. Your choice, it's kind of messy, it doesn't make really pretty um, x and y intercepts, they're going to be fractions, right? So if I find the, uh, the x-intercept, I'm going to set y is equal to 0, that covers up 3y here, so 2x equals negative 7, so x is equal to minus 7 over 2. And the y-intercept, I'll just write them up here what I'm doing, the y-intercept set x equal to 0, and I would get y is equal to 7 over 3. Okay, so that's what uh, 3 and a half minus 3 and a half minus 1, 2, 3 and a half. And my y intercept would be 2 and a third. So it's 1, 2 and 1 third. And then you would just join those little dots with a nice ruler. Don't do things by hand, they just look messy. Okay, so that's graph A. We'll call this one A here. Um, the second one, x, y, 2 minus 1 plus t times 8, 3. Okay, so my point is 2 and minus 1. 
I could find a couple of other points if I wanted to, or I could just use slope and this point to find the next one. So 2 and minus 1, 1, 2, minus 1. And the slope here, remember this is 8, 3, that's x, y, so rise over run would be 3 over 8. It's not the slope vector, this is the slope vector, or the, yeah, the slope vector, and this is the slope, so the slope is up 3 over 8. So I go 1, 2, 3 over 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It'd be way over here somewhere. We could have found another point as well, right? So if we um, if we found another point, let's, well, that's good enough. And we'll call this B. The idea is that you know what you're, where you're supposed to be going. So 5 minus 2T equals y equals minus 3 plus 4t, so we have the parametric equations here. We know that one of the points is 5 minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, 2, 3. So this is definitely a point on the line. And um, let's find a second point, why not? So when t equals, let's say t equals 1, what would we get? x would be equal to 5 minus 2, which is 3, and y would be equal to minus 3 plus 4 is 1. So 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 1 is a point on the line. And we could just draw a line through those two points. You only need two points to make a line. And there's my C. Okay? Write a vector equation for a line defined by a parametric equation. So 5, x equals 5 minus 3t. So remember where this comes from. If I asked you to write the vector equation, you'd say, well, I know what the point is. The point is 5, 7. And the trick is, do you know what the um, direction vector is? So t times the direction vector, and it's just these coordinates here, minus 3 and 1. And again, if there is no t, um, say this just said y equals 7, if there was no t here, or 0 t's, you would put in a 0 there. Okay, so that's the first page. We're just ripping through these ones. Write the scalar equation of the line defined by a parametric equation. So now we have x equals 5 minus 3t, so we want the scalar equation. That's the same thing as the Cartesian equation. And remember to do that, you want to write it into... Um, we have the parametric equations and we want to write the scalar equations. And the scalar equation is just isolating t here. So x minus 5 divided by minus 3 is our first t, and this t would be y minus 7. So you set these equal to each other now and solve. I probably should have left a little more room here. So I have x minus 5 over minus 3 equals y minus 7. I'm going to multiply through by minus 3 to clear this denominator. And that I'll bring it up here. So I'm going to have x minus 5 equals minus 3y plus 21. So x plus 3y minus 26 equals zero. And that's the first one. Okay, so for the second one here, we have x equals 2 minus 5t. So what is t equal to? So t equals, bring the 2 over, divide by minus 5. And the second one, t is equal to y minus 3 divided by 6. Okay, so we set these two equal to each other and solve, clear the denominators and make a nice equation. So we'll have to squeeze that in here. So that gives me 6x minus 12 equals minus 5y plus 15. So bring everything over this way. Um, I forgot this should be a y here. It doesn't say where'd my y's go. Okay, so I have 6x plus 5y minus 27 equals 0. 
Okay, number eight, write the scalar equation of the line given the normal n and a point P0. So the scalar equation, we want, um, we have the normal, so remember that the normal is a, b. I'll put on square brackets because that one was, and we have a point, of course, that's just x, y. So I write out my equation, my Cartesian equation, also called the scalar equation. That's the thing, right? Everybody gives them different names, and then when you go to do it, you I don't know which one she's talking about. So let's get that straight. So I have 11 is my a, my x is 4. Remember, we're trying to solve here for c, and b is going to be minus 5 times 9 plus c equals 0. So this is 44 minus 45, so that's going to be negative 1, so c is equal to positive 1. So now all I, all I have to do is pat, pl bleh, plug in my a, b, and my c. So a is 11, so I have 11x minus 5y plus 1 equals 0. Number nine, write a vector and parametric equations for a line. Okay, so 3x minus y equals 7. This is just, um, you know, standard form. Um, so the first thing we want to do is find a point that's on the line. Because for a vector equation, right, vector equation, that means we need point and direction vector. Direction vector. So let's find a point. So what do you want to choose? You can make your own, choose your own adventure here. So what happens when, let's say x is 1. If x equals 1, 3 times 1 minus y equals 7. So that's 3. I bring it over here would be uh, minus y equals 4, so y equals minus 4. So therefore, 1 minus 4 is a point on the line. Okay, so the next thing I need to know is what is the slope? So how am I going to find the slope? Well, the easiest way would be to write this into y equals mx plus b format, right? So if I rearrange that, I would have y equals 3x minus 7, right? y, bring that over here, bring that one over there. So the slope is 3 over 1. If the slope equals 3 over 1, then the direction vector is going to be, now remember, this is y over x, so it's 1, 3. So now I can say um, the vector equation of the line is going to be 1, minus 4, plus t times 1, 3. Um, what else do we need to do here? The parametric equations. Okay, well that's easy. You know how to do that. So we say x. What's x equal to? x is equal to 1 plus t. And y is equal to minus 4 plus 3t. And finally, can we describe lines recognizing if vertical or horizontal? So if I have this equation here, for vector equation for a line that says x, y is 2 minus 5 plus t, 0, 1. So if you take a look at this carefully, this says the direction vector. Let's draw a little picture here. The direction vector is x is 0, y is 1. So it's going like this, right? That means it's going to be a vertical line. Whereas this one, it says the direction vector is 2, 0. So it's going this way, which means it's a horizontal line. So if this is a vertical line, it means x must be equal to 2. And I'm sure you can see why, because if I had 2 and minus 5, that would be down here somewhere. So let's say this is 2 minus 5. And every time I add something, I'm not adding anything to the x's, but I'm adding 1 to the 
to the uh, y. So if I said t is 1, then I would have 2n minus 4, which would be here. And if I said t is 2, I would have 2 and minus 3, which would be here. So you can see how that's all going to make up the ln x equals 2. So this is my vertical. Hopefully you know the difference between vertical and horizontal. Vertical is your climb. Horizontal is the horizon. Okay, and same thing with this one here, only backwards, right? So I say um, this would be x is equal to 3 plus 2 t's but y is equal to 7 plus 0 t's. So this is another way of looking at it. So y is always 7. So that means it must be a line like this, y equals 7. And again, that's because um, the direction vector is this way. It's got to be parallel to that. And no matter what I put in for t, my y value is always 7. Okay, so that's a little primer just to make sure you've got everything nailed before you go on to 8.3, which is going to be equations of lines in three space. Hope that helped you out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.